Lauren Henning, and I would like to welcome you all to the Meg Quigley Vivaldi Competition and Symposium. As you can see, this year is a little bit different than usual because it's an entirely virtual symposium. I see this as a positive experience still because I was able to include art forms that I wouldn't have been able to in a regular recital. So throughout this video, I will be discussing why I chose to use some of these art forms and how I was able to make it happen. And this year, it's extra special because I can show you how I did it rather than just tell you. So the first thing that I would like to do is discuss how I was able to record all of the solo and accompaniment parts for the Vivaldi that you just heard. To create the parts for the Vivaldi, the first thing that I did was I took a recording of myself playing the solo, and then during the rests, I played the bass line during the tutti sections. As soon as this was finished, I created what I called the fake bass line, which was the complete bass line that I played along with this recording so that everything would line up. And then while I took the recording for the final recording, I played this bass line in my ear so that I could have an idea of what the solo would sound like with the bass line. Once I got my final recording, I put it into GarageBand and I inserted parts of the fake bass line during the 2T sections so that I would have one continuous recording to listen to when I recorded the rest of the accompaniment parts. And with that, I hope that you enjoy the next piece, Zinfandel by Rena Esmail.
For the piece Zinfandel, I really wanted to take this opportunity to represent the composer's ideas. Our composer, Rena Esmail, says in her performance notes that she imagines the repeated notes in the faster section of Zinfandel to be kind of like reflections of light off of the water. I took this idea and I used two different characters to represent the two different things happening in this part of the piece. There's the one character representing the repeated notes and the other character representing all the quick runs that happen. In the dance, these two lights never meet each other, which is why the gold one looks around for the silver one at the end, but they never see each other because they just move so quickly. Uh, back to the beginning of the piece, I envisioned the dancer coming to life as the piece comes to life, and then that dancer returns throughout the piece to transition us from this coming to life idea to the more darker part of the piece where the glimmers of light will later show up. This is the setup for Zinfandel. I have the lights over here, and then this was the background that I used. And then over here are all the costume pieces, the silver, and then the gold glitter. And they have Velcro on them so that they stick to this black shirt here. I cut pieces out of this glitter fabric, and then I hot glued some Velcro on it so that it would stick to the black pants and shirt that I made. For this last piece, the third movement of Natalie Muller's Translations, I really wanted to take this opportunity to also represent our composer. The third movement is titled La Pelle du Vide, which in English means Call of the Void. And Call of the Void is actually a very common experience that many people have. It's this thought of, what if I did something really dangerous? Or what if I did something that I would never actually do? What if I jumped off a cliff? What if I jumped off a bridge? I've had this experience driving a car. What if I just took a sharp left on the throughway? Um, and so I kind of took these ideas and these experiences and I turned it into a video that plays behind me during the piece. And it's supposed to be a first person point of view of these events about to happen, even though they never are going to happen. Uh, the music is kind of representative of what is going on in the brain. It's frantic. It's intense, but then the picture is calm because that represents the real world in that everything is simple and calm, but the brain is thinking very quickly and has some very intense thoughts. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 